Geminis, welcome to your reading. So this is a reading for the month of June 2020. And I wanted to uh, wish you all a happy birthday for the May and also June Geminis, okay? So I'm going to pull two um, cards here from the Gateway Oracle. I hope that you're all having a beautiful day, a beautiful week, and in general, a beautiful month of May. Um, we had a lot of sunshine here, and we have to be grateful for that. Okay. This is a new deck that I got. Those cards are a little bit thick, you know, so it's a little bit hard to shuffle and uh, mix them up. You're waiting for something, Gemini's. You have the Three of Wands here. What are we waiting for? You're about to wait for in order to take this. Um, oops, I have a few cards. Are you waiting to take this leap of faith? But you're waiting for something here. Let's see. Okay, good. Actually, I'm gonna do six cards and one for the overall two. Just one more card here, thank you. Okay. Yeah. You're working, we're waiting for the truth, okay? So you have the um, Ace of Swords and see how this uh, smoke here, this foggy. You came from this, you're coming from this here, and then now you're waiting for, you are at the, um, you're waiting for something or someone to bring the truth. Okay, so here we have dwelling in truth, okay, with this card here, dwelling in truth. There we go, so it says, I stand in the light of truth. So, um, they are telling you here that, here, first of all, you you came from the nine of wands, so you came from uh, uh, like something very heavy, and you came out of it very wounded. But you gain, I feel like you gain a lot of maturity. Okay, something really uh, brought you into this five of wands here, which is like you had to defend yourself about something. Or, um, you know, against people, you know, people um, not um, not going your way. You always feel, felt defeated by people. And now you're coming out of it, okay? And then you resting right now. You're at the rest uh, time of your life, of your the time here. And you are waiting, okay? And uh, here are the two beautiful cards of the deck you have the fool okay and we have the sun here the fool and the sun so it tells me that you ready after this um, um, resting period that you had in your ha in your life or is that you're having you're gonna be ready f to take a leap of faith okay you're gonna be ready to jump uh, I mean like um, you know Meta metaphorically, okay, <laughs> you're gonna be ready to jump and then uh, start a new beginning here, and then it's gonna bring you the sun, Gemini's. Okay, you're gonna feel very happy. Um, they're telling you here, emerging into grace. So, um, uh, for me, I open my soul to grace. For me, you feel like 
you're gonna feel um, lighter, you know, like you're coming in f out of this nine of wands here and not as the, the five of wands and you're gonna feel lighter after being knowing the truth and um, you're going to uh, have more compassion too I feel like for people and then you, you will understand why uh, why they acted that way and then why this had to happen in your life you know you will understand and you will feel a little bit more uh, also grateful in some way um, you have here the the ace of swords underneath the ace of swords you have the two of cups so you could be dealing with a uh, romant romantically, you could it could be uh, you could be dealing with someone maybe uh, that um, uh, that you like, that you love, that you have feelings for. Okay, and it's here you have the four of wands, so it's like the beginning of foundations. You're going to um, uh, build some stuff together with this person, possibly. Okay. Or you are going to um, talk about it, you know, you're going to bring the truth about someone that you love, okay? And here you have the masculine energy too. So I feel like I could be talking, uh, here this reading might be concerning a male Gemini, doesn't have to, but mostly male Geminis because I have the sun here. So uh, male Gemini specifically will go through this. Um, this period of uh, resting and finding out the truth for themselves. Uh, you have the truth twice here. You have the the um, Ace of Swords and also the card the card here about truth. And it's possibly concerning uh, a love connection. Okay, so I'm gonna pull some more cards uh, here about the um, concerning the love connection here what are we dealing with okay I'm gonna pull three cards two more please three thank you oops okay yeah definitely mm -hmm. so here the first card that uh, spoke to me here that I saw is the healing heart Right here, okay? So you could be in resting here because you probably healed. Maybe from, from a past connection, right here, look. You have the nine of wands. So you probably came out of a relationship, maybe nine years of relationship with someone. And you feel wounded, you feel defeated, you feel really... Um, um, you, you feel tired. Because, I don't know, depending on your situation, maybe you had a lot of uh, fight with this person here with the five of wands. Uh, talking about um, maybe someone was hiding their true uh, personality here with the mask, okay? So here we have not showing true feelings, hide, person personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting, okay? So they pretended that they love you, but... They didn't really love you. They were here maybe just for um, for having someone in their life, or just because it, you know um, material material uh, reasons. Um, but also here with the mask, um, it could uh, also it could be you. You know, like the Gemini with the two masks here. It could be well. It it could be you also like thinking that you had feeling for someone and then it came out that's the you know the truth came out and you really you really saw that the feelings the, the were not here you know uh it was just uh pretending and here with the golden mirror we have self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship oh yeah love bomb love bombing so yeah, like I said, this is yeah. Um, uh, it was only one-sided. So either you like them, you love them, but they didn't love you, 
uh, or um, they love you but you didn't love like them you know you spend all, all this time just because you wanted to not be alone you know just having someone but i feel like after the truth after this period of rest gemini you someone is coming in and someone that you really share not only you share um, souls together but also you share uh, your heart with someone because it's two cups here so it's emotion and look at that on the top here right here gemini's we have the the angels okay angels are guiding you and uh, protecting this union and it's going to bring to a beautiful um, foundation and also uh, maybe proposal or marriage okay so um, it's going to bring you uh, if i want to go further with the cards it's going to bring you into the king of wands okay king of wands which is um uh passion you know you you see you stepping into your passionate your fiery um uh state like you're gonna feel a lot of passion it's gonna be brand new you know um you see like all of those the the ones here this sprouting you see the you know it's growing so you go that's the way you're gonna feel if you, you will feel renewed also with the fool here okay so that's a beautiful reading for you guys i uh, hope you like it i'm gonna pull just one more card um a little uh, a little message from the goddess let's see what the goddess wants to tell you gemini okay here's the card okay and what do i see here i see two people okay I am gentle with myself and others. Yeah, because you're resting right now, you are coming into a lot of um, truth, and then you are stepping into a different you, a different person. You're gonna be a little bit more, uh, um, how can I say this? Uh, yeah, gentle, a little bit more gentle with other people. Um, you, like I said here, you're going to feel so grateful for everything that happened, you know, even if it was painful, but it was there for a reason. And then um, it's going to bring you a lot of satisfaction. So. All right, here's your reading. Um, I hope you like it. And then um, have a beautiful day. Um, enjoy. And I see you next time. Bye-bye, Geminis.